E -o. What is good? Sixer Nation, welcome on in to Philly Take with RB. Sixer Game Day Live, RB is back, and it feels like the biggest game of the season. A lot on the line. Could we see a potential play-in preview? Or can the Sixers win tonight in Miami, beat them again, and gain some ground in the playoff race? I am ready to run through a wall with Joel Embiid back again. Tyrese Maxey back. It is going to get interesting tonight. As always, we'll give you the live play-by-play -play and reaction, the live breakdown and analysis, and we'll chop it up with the chat. Ladies and gentlemen, it feels like we haven't had something to play for in a long time until tonight. You know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Playoffs approaching. Oh, we have a lot to talk about tonight, man. Sixer Nation, let me hear you, man. I am pumped. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. RB is back, man. I am back. Missed the last couple games. I was at the arena on Tuesday night, as you probably saw. If you tapped in on the live stream, and then you tapped in with my guy, JJ. Shout out to him. He did a great job. Sixers got a massive win against the Thunder, and we enter tonight, and it feels like there hasn't been this much of a wide-open race in a very long time. I will read out the standings because last night we were live, but we were watching the Indiana Pacers as they fell to the Brooklyn Nets. The Pacers lost last night. They slipped up, and right now the Miami Heat are 17 and a half out as the sixth seed. The Pacers are tied with the Heat, 17 and a half out, and the Sixers are in the number eight seed. They are 19 out. They are a game and a half behind Indiana and Miami. Ladies and gentlemen, let me put that into perspective for you. Maybe I'm speaking a different language, okay? If the Sixers win this game tonight, they are a half game behind the Miami Heat. They are a half game behind the Indiana Pacers, okay? That's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to, man. If they win, they are in prime position to win the next several games in which they play the Grizzlies and the Spurs and the Pistons. They can go and try to secure this number six seed. What will that do for the 76ers if they were to get the number six seed and steal it away in the final games here? They would give Joel Embiid another week to rest. They wouldn't have to go into a play-in scenario. They would be able to match up against the Cavs in the first round, the Bucks most likely in the second round, and boom, you never know what could happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a must-win game. You want a game that's going to feel like a playoff scenario, that is this game tonight. We will go over the starting lineups because we have injury updates to cover. But as always, this show is powered by BetUS. Shout out to BetUS. The odds earlier today had the Sixers as a two-point underdog, which, again, I like their chances if they're only a two-point underdog. You can use our link at any time to get a 125% deposit match bonus up to $2,500 on your first three deposits using BetUS to the number one online sports book. So if you were to... Uh, deposit, say $500, for example, you would start off with $1,250 to play with. 125% deposit match bonus up to $2,500. They have 24-7 customer service and 24-hour payouts. So click the link pinned in the description or down below in the chat as well to receive the bonus. Also, they're doing a huge giveaway, $125 in free play. The first five people to DM me on Twitter or Instagram with their account information showing that they have an account will receive $25 of free play money. Shout out to BetUS. Let's freaking go, man. Drop your score predictions in the chat right now. Drop your score predictions in the chat. Who is winning this game, ladies and gentlemen? Who 
is winning this game. This is playoff atmosphere right here. It feels like we're back. It feels like we're back, man. I tweeted out the other day, man. It feels like the season is resurrected. Watching Joel Embiid go out there the way he did. Did he play perfect? No. But he was moving well on that knee. He looked fluid. He looked like he had been playing the last two months. He looked great in my opinion. And now you get Tyrese Maxey back. This is going to be huge, ladies and gentlemen. This could be exactly what we have prayed and waited for. Just one healthy postseason run. I know he's still banged up, but would you rather him get hurt into the playoffs or would you rather him get hurt in the midseason? Come back. He's got six games to go. Come on, Joel. Come on. We need this win. You have to show up tonight. Is this game going to be easy? Heck no. Heck no. This is going to be a difficult game, man, but... You beat Miami a couple weeks ago. I was there in attendance watching that game. Joel Embiid did not play that game. Tyrese Max, he had 18 in the first quarter. He had 30 points on the night. Nick Nurse outcoached Eric Spolstra, who is one of the best coaches ever. This is going to be a play-in scenario. If the Sixers can win this game tonight, they can absolutely take that number six seed. It all starts now, baby. Let's freaking go. Drop those score predictions. We'll read them out. Let me adjust my chair. All right, let's freaking go, man. Guys, we got 150 people in here already. Do me a favor. Hit the like button on the show. We're going to get as many people in here as possible. Helps grow the brand. We have so much content coming for the playoffs, our videos that we do, our game live streams. We're going to be live streaming other games. We're going to be doing post-game coverage. We're going to be doing collabs. We did a roundtable last night. I am pumped. I'm ready to rock, man. I'm ready to rock. Sixers are a game and a half behind Miami. Keep in mind, Miami plays Indiana as well in the final six. So, look, man, you have to win tonight. This is your opportunity, and it feels like it's going to be a playoff environment in South Beach. Can the Sixers get it done? That's what I want to know from you. That's what I want to know from you. couple quick announcements. Number one, shout out to all of our great channel members. If you want to become a member, the link is down in the description. Thank you for supporting me as a creator. Also, follow us on Instagram at Philly Take with RB. Follow me on Twitter at RB Philly Take and join our Discord. We're going to be doing a giveaway in there for the playoffs. Also, we have our jersey giveaway. Jersey giveaway, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do it on the first game of the playoffs, whether that's the play in or the playoffs, wherever the Sixers finish. So, in a couple weeks, we're going to be giving away this bad boy, Joel Embiid All Star jersey, to one of the lucky people out there all the members are automatically entered into the giveaway. And these are all the ways you can enter. Let's freaking go. I'm pumped, man. I want to see the Sixers show up tonight. They had a gritty win the other night. It felt like they were sinking the whole game. It didn't feel like they had any chance of winning. And Kelly Oubre drops 17 in the fourth. Joel comes out and goes ballistic with a couple great defensive plays late. And that was without Tyrese Maxey. I know the Thunder were down. They were shorthanded. But the Sixers, they, they, they stuck to what worked, man. And they were able to finish out a game. It's something we have not seen in a long time. And I'm just, I'm ready, man. I am ready. So I'm going to go to the chat now and read out your predictions. Drop your score predictions, your hot takes. Give me them in the chat real quick. Once again, I want to shout out to BetUS. Because right now, like I said, two and a half points is the spread, man. Two and a half points is the spread on BetUS. Like I said, use our link and uh, get a 125% deposit match bonus. Shout out to BetUS. I'm taking the Sixers, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I'm taking the Sixers on the spread. Let's get it. Let's get it. Shout out to BetUS, man. All right, now that I'm ready to run through a wall, let's see what the people out there are thinking, man. We got Marsha McCollum in the house. What's up, Marsha? Where'd your comment go? The comments are flying, baby. One, There it is, 116 to 90. I love it. We got John Blake. What's up, John? 105.98, secret underdog, the gamer. What's up? Dom Boyle. What's up? Brandon says, here because I live in Maryland. Let's go. C-Block says, let's go, Fire Take Nation. Come on, Fire Take Nation. Let's go. 220 of you people in here already, man, ready to rock. It's not even game time yet. Let's go. Let's go. 
Let's go. Get us to 200 likes, man. Is Robin here yet? We know Robin's coming in here. We know the Heat Nation will show up. Those psychos. We know that they will be here. So I need Sixer Nation loud in the chat, man. This is the first time in like three months. Not that I haven't been excited to stream because I love doing this, right? I love making this content. But this is the first time in a while where I'm I'm ready. The other night I was there, right? I wasn't streaming. I was at the game and like I was just so locked into every possession. That's how I feel right now. That's how I feel. Laser focus. Laser focus. Jim says Sixers 112-103. Camps is 116-109. Don Boyle says Joel ends up with 30. Tory says 118-109. Sixers. C Blocks is 119-115. Bergang 120-98. Why would you not pick the Sixers? Look, I'm not going to say if somebody picks Miami in this game that they're crazy. Miami's a good team. They're a good team. They know how to play. They have a good coach, a good system. This is not going to be an easy game by any means possible. But the Sixers, if they can win this game, they would really make a statement. They would make a statement. Ladies and gentlemen, we are, we are only at 69 likes right now. We got 230 people in the chat. Do me a favor. Smash that like button. Get us to 100 right now. I want to ring the horn. I want to wake up the neighbors. I want to wake up the people down the block. Get the cops called. You know the vibes. Let's go. Let's go. We are bringing the energy all night. Jimmy Butler is playing. He did not play a few weeks ago. A little bit of a revenge opportunity for Miami, but who cares, man? The Sixers just need to lock in. They need to get a win. Uh, Miami usually plays Joel and B tough, so I'm not going to sit here and say it's going to be easy by any means. But I'm ready to rock. Ridge says Sixers 117-113 cable wire. What's up? And B three blocks tonight. RJ says Sixers dub. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, here's a big update for you. Tobias Harris is not playing tonight. Matter of fact, Tobias Harris might miss the next several games. They said he had an MRI and had a bad bone bruise. And last night on the stream with DJ and Sean, I was talking about a lineup that I think could actually be the Sixers' best lineup. And that lineup is Tyrese Maxey, Kyle Lowry, Kelly Oubre Jr., Nicholas Batum, and Joel Embiid. And now we get to see that lineup in full effect. Not that I spoke it into existence or anything, but I'm just saying, man. That lineup, in my opinion, is the most effective lineup right now. And we are going to see that plenty tonight. Plenty. Let's freaking go. AJ, what's up? Says 98-92 in a dogfight. I love it. Charles says Sixers 123-98. BC, what's up? Carlos Rosado says, I was at the game on Tuesday looking for you. We were there, man. We were there. It was a crazy environment, Carlos, as you know. Philly says 108-87 Sixers. Steve says here for the war between Nick and Eric. 121-118 Sixers. Or be ready to put on a jersey and go and drop 50. Let's go. I'm ready, coach. I am ready. Nick Nurse is, is going to start pulling the tricks out of the bag, you know? Like, we saw Lowry and Embiid together a lot. We saw Ubre running pick and roll the other night. We saw Buddy Heald working with Joel. I'd still like to see more of that action, but we'll see, man. We'll see. No Tobias Harris tonight. No Tobias Harris tonight. Which, no offense, Tobias, makes me feel a lot more confident right now. It does. It does. I'm just being honest. No Tyler Hero for the Miami Heat. He is out again with injury. So they will start Nikola Jovic at the four. Let's freaking go. Guys, we need to get to 100 likes. We need 10 more. 10 more so we can ring the horn, man. It is going to be a good night, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be a good night, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Once again, guys, use our BetUS link pinned in the chat. Shout out to them for sponsoring the show. And like I said, if you DM me your account info on IG or Twitter, you will get $25 in free play. KT says, I've been dying to see this starting lineup. BC says, Lakers Sixers would be a fire finals matchup. I think there's a lot of uncertainty, man. I think there's a lot of uncertainty going on in the NBA. And I think this is the year of dark horses, man. Let's go. Let's go. Kyle Lowry going up against Miami tonight again. 
Jimmy Butler, you know how he likes to cook. Terry Rozier. Ah, oh, man. Can the Sixers win one of these games, please? Can they just win this game? Just make it easy for us. Just make it easy for us, man. There's a lot of uncertainty. It's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. C Block says, if we win, we will put the NBA on notice. Let's go. Let's go. We need two more likes. How are we not at 200? We're not even at 100. Come on, man. RJ says, Bleacher Report says Tobias will miss two to three games. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They said he had a bad bone bruise, so we'll see. We will see. This is the game to win right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is your opportunity. Sixers feel like they haven't had much to play for, and now they do. Now they do. My hot take tonight, I think Tyrese Maxey comes out, and he's on fire because he was struggling the first couple games before the injury. Then he's been out the last couple. I think Tyrese Maxey comes out and drops 30-plus and leads the Sixers to a big-time W. Because they're going to double Joel. The Thunder were literally doubling Joel every single play. Once again, Kyle Lowry, Tyrese Maxey, Kelly Oubre, Nicholas Batum, and Joel Embiid. This is, to me, the best starting lineup combination. Dom says, Maxey needs to have a breakout game. Could be a difference in this one, for sure. Show Key, what's up? Shout out to the members. Drop those fires in the chat, man. Lowry, Maxey, Oubre, Batum, and Embiid. And for Miami, it's Rozier, Duncan Robinson, Jimmy Butler, Jovic, and Adebayo. Biggest game of the year, baby. We got 100 likes. Drop the yes, sirs. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. Come on. Yes, Woo. sir. feel like I've been on cruise control, baby. We have the playoff vibes tonight. We have the playoff vibes tonight. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Look at this crowd. There's like a bunch of empty seats. Maybe this is before. Actually, no, this is right now. Where's all the people at? Do they not care that their team is in a position to maybe make the playoffs? Like, went to the finals last year? I don't know. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. RJ says run it back. Let's go. Drop those yes sirs, baby. Drop them in the chat. Let's go. Yes, sir. Woo! Yes, sir. 300 strong in the chat already. Get this to 300 likes. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Guys, take the Sixers on BetUS. Plus two and a half. I'm taking Sixers on the spread. Jimmy, you're not getting the best of us this time. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Feels good to be back. Lock in, ladies and gentlemen. Strap in. Strap in. Joel Embiid is really back. It is not a myth. It is not some type of Photoshop. He is here as the Sixers are rocking the white unis. Miami going to win the opening tip. They're rocking the black jerseys tonight. Here we go. In Miami, biggest game of the year. Duncan Robinson swings it out. Butler in the corner, guarded by his former teammate, Lowry. At a bio, back to Butler. Three on the shot clock. Nice defense now. Butler around a screen, pulls it up. And the first opportunity is short. Picked up by Philly. Two days after Joel Embiid makes his return, here he is yet again. They played him a lot of minutes last game. We'll see what he does today. Joel going to hand it off. Maxi around the screen. Maxi all the way to the rack. Up and in. Tyrese is back in action. Rocking the yellow shoes tonight. Tyrese Maxi missed the last several games. And a good way to start. Here's a three ball from Jovic. He airballed it. Butler kicked it back on the save. Now Butler in the corner. Seven on the shot clock. He's going to find Robinson for three, and that one rims out. Butler tried to corral it and could not, and it is heading the other way. 
Need you guys active in the chat all night, man. This is a huge game. KT says Joel 36 and 10. Maxi 32 and 12. Ubre 22 with two blocks. I love it. Here's Kelly Ubre, and he throws one down as nobody in space to cover Kelly Ubre, who has become one of my favorite Sixers. I told you guys last June they should have signed him. Told you before that. And Kelly Oubre is an absolute dog. He, I want to run through a brick wall for Oubre. Maxi step back three. Got it again. Yes, Woo! sir. Sixers out on a 7-0 run to begin this game. Drop those Maxi emojis in the chat, baby. Rogier, the dribble drive. And B swatted it away. Off the leg of Rogier and it's heading the other way. Fire me up, baby. Fire me up. Fire the cannons. We are here. No Tobias Harris tonight. Maxi around the screen. He wants another one. Oh, my gosh. Oh. My hot take is already coming true. 10-0 run for the Sixers. Tyrese Maxi is cooking, baby. He's got eight points to begin this game. I said 30 plus, make it 50. Make it 50. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying not to get too exuberant. I'm trying not to go over the ledge yet. Did you guys just see what I saw? 350 people in here. Guys, smash the like button. Get us to 300 likes. Holy crap. Holy crap. We might have to call the, 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 the cops tonight. The neighbors are going to be pissed. We are going to be ringing this damn horn. Holy crap. Tyrese Maxey is back, ladies and gentlemen. Joel Embiid, I, I forgot what it looked like. I forgot what Embiid and Maxi looked like. This is absolutely incredible. This is beautiful. The Sixers, I mean, this is 10-0 run. 10-0 run in Miami. 10-0 run in Miami. My guy Tyrese has eight points in two minutes. Two threes. Okay. Holy crap. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sixers have come out swinging like it is a playoff game. I can't believe my eyes. Can't believe my eyes. Like, you know the players in the locker room are not just sitting there like, oh, this is just another game. No, they know what's on the line. They know what's on the line. And that is how you come out in the opposing territory. You come out and you punch them in the face. Tyrese is doing exactly what he did a couple weeks ago. When I was there at the Wells Fargo, he dropped 18 in the first quarter. He was relentless. That's what he's doing already. Eight points in two minutes, and it is a 10-0 run for the 76ers. Let's freaking go, man. We're already halfway to 200. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on now. I haven't hit the MVP chance so long, man. Damn, I got to put the Embiid sound effect back on. It's been so long. I haven't hit the Embiid sound effect in a long time. I forgot to put it back on. Jovic goes in. He missed another one right off the railing. Here come the 76ers. Larry up the floor to Oubre. Oubre one-on-one -on -one back to Larry. He's going to find Joel. Joel working against Jovic. One-on-one. -on -one. Here's the step back and beat. Oh, 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 oh. That was the wettest shot I've ever seen. It's 12 to nothing. Here's Jimmy Butler working against Larry. At a bio, the float and the Heat are finally on the board. Three minutes into this game, finally on the board. Nico Batum going to find Kelly Oubre. Oubre going to find Maxi. Maxi 
to Embiid. Here's Joel. The jab. The jab. He pulls it up again. And he got it again. Can we get some MVPs in the chat, man? Let's freaking go, man. Let's go. Jimmy Butler working against Lowry. He's going to drive, kick it out. Jovic wide open in the corner. He missed it again. He missed it again. It is 14 to 2. Here's Maxi with another opportunity. Eight points early. Embiid going to swing it to the corner. Batum back to Embiid. Give it back. Batum for three. And it comes up just a little bit short. Four minutes into this game. Here come the Miami Heat. Adebayo throws it away. Throws it away. It bounces into the stands where there's no fans at all. This building has no energy, but the Sixers are taking over nonetheless. Let's freaking go. Joel wants a triple. Oh, my gosh. Where's the sound? I got to get the sound effect on. I got to get it back on. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, my gosh. Rozier, Adebayo, pull up. Missed it again. Missed it again. It's 17 to 2. It's 17 to 2. Joel Embiid at the top. The Sixers are a completely different unit. Embiid hands it off. Maxi for three. Little bit short, gets his own rebound. Maxi back to Embiid. Embiid, the cross, the crossover again, the spin, the fade. Embiid can't get it. Rolled right off. 7 10 to play here in the first. Jovic all the way down the rack. And he missed it, but a foul. Ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap. We are here. This is crazy, man. $10 super chat. Vincent Saravo. Vincent Saravo, my guy. Thank you so much. Appreciate the love. You just earned yourself 10 more entries, by the way, into our giveaway. We're giving away an MB jersey. Perfect timing in just a couple weeks. Shout out to Vincent, man. Thank you for supporting the show. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 17 to 3. Is this real life right now? We watching the same game or what? We watching the same game or what? You have to win this game. You have to win this game. Chad, how are we feeling, man? 400 people, almost 400 in here, man. Get us the 400 likes. Seven minutes to go in the first after two made free throws. Ure down the alleyway. Going to step back. Tried to get it to Larry, and it was stolen by Robinson. Four on three. Here's Rozier in transition, and he smacks one through. Makes it a 10-point game, 17-7. to Obviously, a lot of basketball to play, but it's hard not to get hype. Batum going to find Embiid, and Embiid with an easy bucket as he shoved away at a bio, said, get out of my way. And the Sixers back up by 12. Adebayo drives, steps back over, and B can't get it to fall. Here come the 76ers, Maxi with the rock. He's getting crafty with it. Step back again, Maxi can't get it to fall this time. Here comes Miami, Rozier going all the way, and he was hit by Maxi, fell to the floor, and it's going to be a blocking foul on Tyrese Maxi. Ladies and gentlemen, they have to win this game. They have come out knowing the circumstance, and the Sixers have been way more aggressive, way more dominant to begin this one. It's just so refreshing seeing Joel Embiid play. Like, the, the way the team plays with Joel Embiid. It's just, it's amazing. It really is. Feels like a playoff game, man. Other than the fans not being there, but hey. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to know from you in the chat right now, on a scale from 1 to 10, how fired up are you right now? Seeing Joel Embiid back, watching this team play, how fired up are you right now on a scale from 1 to 10? How confident are you in a scale from 1 to 10? Let's go. Maxi coming around the screen. He's going to drive down the alley. Back to Larry up top for three. Larry puts it through. 
former Miami Heat, Kyle Lowry, smacking a three ball, and it's 22 to 9. Adebayo going to find Jimmy Butler. A lot of former friends and foes in this game. Jimmy going to try find a midi, and he got it over B-ball pull, who just checked in for Joel Embiid. So Joel going to play six and a half minutes, and he's back to the bench with nine points and two rebounds. Maxie going to drive, step back a little midi, and the answer, Tyrese Maxi puts it through the hole. The Sixers cannot be stopped at the moment. 24 to 11. Here's Jimmy Butler against Lowry. Going to drive again. Kicks it. Rozier, pump fake. Now a three, and he got it. It looked like he almost came off the ground, but guess not. Here's Tyrese going to get doubled. The Heat switching their defense up. Here's Batum in the corner. Came up a little bit short. Picked up by Jovic. Here come the Miami Heat. Going to find Butler. In the corner, a tray ball, and he hits. Back to a seven-point game just like that. The Heat are not going to go down easy. We know that. We know that. And a timeout by Nick Nurse wants to readjust some things. What an offensive showing here in the first quarter so far. We still have four and a half minutes to play, and it is 24 to 24-17. Ladies and gentlemen, we need y'all to keep bringing that energy in the chat because it is going to be a long night, I'll tell you that. It is going to be a very good game, and we know what is at stake. See a lot of 10s in the chat, a lot of 10s, 11s. Everybody's hyped up, man. That's what I like to hear. You guys are new to the show. This is Philly Take with RB, Sixer Game Day Live. We do a lot of content here on the show, but we are live every Sixers game. We got you covered, man, all the way up and through the playoffs. 400 people in the chat. Guys, do me a favor. Go down below. Hit the little thumbs up button. It helps push this content out. We need 25 more. Let's get it, man. Let's, uh, let's hear it for Joel and Embiid. Since I wasn't here last time. Since I wasn't here last time. Let's hear it for Joel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are here, man. We are here. <clears throat> By the way, what did I say before the game, ladies and gentlemen? What did I say before the game? This is the starting lineup I want to see, right? There's one guy that's not out there with them right now. Who is it? Who is it? We know who it is. We know who it is. Let's freaking go, man. Hold up. We know who it is. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Get us to 35.2K. We need three more. Let's go. Dom says, how's there not 300 likes? That's what I'm saying, man. 425 people in here. I don't know what to do. You know what to do. <clears throat> it's almost that time, baby. It's almost that time, baby. <clears throat> Buddy Hill going to come in for the first time with KJ Martin as well. So it'll be Buddy, Maxi. KJ, Batum, and B-Ball Paul. Tyrese Maxey going to find Buddy Heald. He's going to pump fake. Now drive against Rozier. Steps back for two. Can't get it to sink. Jovic has it. He's running down the floor, going all the way up and in. Takes it all the way. No Jaime Hawkins today, I guess. Caleb Martin's in for the first time. Here's Max. He wants another step back three. Not going to get it that time. Reed tried to rebound it. 
Martin battled for the board, and it looked like it went off of Caleb Martin, I think. Let's see. Who'd it go out on? Uh, looks like it went out on Martin. Should be Sixers ball. Should be Sixers ball, and it is. Here's the inbound from Batumi. Oops it up, and K.J. Martin with the flush. What a play out of the inbound. Nicholas Batum always finds the right guy, man. What a pass that was. And K.J. Martin has been pretty impressive in a few minutes here and there, man. Let's go. Nikola Jovic going to find Adebayo dribbling, driving to the rim. Blocked by Martin. What a defensive heads-up play. Comes from behind and swats it. Sixers lead it by seven. Maxi to heal up the Maxi again. Maxi going to drive against Adebayo. All the way down to Reed. Got the little reverse under the rim. And the Sixers lead it by nine. Caleb Martin dribbling, driving downhill. He's going to find Rozier. Goes up and plucked again. Here come the Sixers. Can the defense once again turn into better offense? Here's Maxi all the way. Got it. Got it. Contested layup. And it sinks for Tyrese Maxey. Sixers with a 30-piece here in the first quarter. Tyrese up to 12. Here's Rozier off the dribble. Finds Adebayo wide open. Missed it. Missed it from about 10 feet. Tyrese up at the top. He's going to find Buddy Heald. Heald back to Maxey. 12 on the shot clock. Adebayo guarding Maxey. Heat switching everything. Here's Maxi. This time, switched. Going to step back over Highsmith for three. And he got it. Oh, boy. Oh. Ooh. What a shot. What a shot. 33 to 19. Here's Adebayo. He's going to drive. Lost control. He lost it. Oh, they caught a foul. Saved by the whistle? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So apparently they ended up not calling a foul. It was a kicked ball. Kevin Love in the game as well. Here's Martin going downhill. Tried to find Butler, and it was stolen away again. The Sixers are on it. They are tentative right now. Ubre down the alley. Goes up. Missed the layup. Martin, the putback. Missed it. Gets it back again. Ubre tips it out and picked up by Jimmy Butler. 139 to play in the first. K-Love the pump fake. Now he pulls up a three, and he missed it. Right into the hands of Kelly Oubre. His campaign in for the first time and Bede back in as well. Nurse trying to get Embiid some experience with some of these new guys like campaign Kyle Lowry. There's Oubre going to find Embiid. The double comes. Embiid goes up and he's fouled by Kevin Love. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 460 people in here. Thank you all for being here so far. We have hit 200 likes. You know what that means. Drop the yes sirs in the chat. <laughs> Drop them in the chat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say this one time for the people just coming in the chat, okay? As Joel hits the first one at the line. The Sixers are a completely different team with Joel Embiid. They look like they didn't right now at the beginning of the year. Tyrese Maxey's the key tonight. Shout out to everybody, including myself, that predicted him to have a big game. He has 15 in the first quarter. He looks brand new. He looks refreshed. And Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey are going to be hard to stop. Just being honest. Like, this is something, man. Joel, two for two at the line. Keep in mind, the Sixers are playing some great defense, man. Really good defense in this first quarter. Jimmy Butler going through it. Puts it up, missed the shot, and Bede hit the deck. Looks like he's all right. One minute to go in the first, Butler was fouled. And also, one more thing I want to say, and again, 
I'm just going to say it and speak it with my chest, man. This has to be the starting lineup. This has to be the starting lineup. Agree or disagree? Agree or disagree? This has to be the starting lineup for the rest of the season. First one good for Jimmy Butler. No Tobias Harris in this game. It is Maxi, Lowry, Oubre, Batum, and Joel Embiid. And this is the best starting lineup that I've seen. Agree or disagree? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to bring Tobias Harris off the bench. It is time to bring him off the bench. I'm sorry. KJ goes up, missed it. Ubre the putback. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Sixers lead at 37 to 21. 44 seconds to go in the first. Here's Caleb Martin, the dribble, the drive, the step over, goes up, fouled in one. Tough bucket for Caleb Martin, who had a great postseason run last year, and he will go to the line for one more. Guys, at the end of the day, if we're trying to win a championship, you have to do what's best for the team, and we're going to see if they have the balls to do it. But we see what works, right? We see what works. Chris says the pass Uber gave to Embiid led to free throws was Batum like. Tobias will not do that. Yeah, and, and like everybody's switching right now. They're just playing very fast. It's nice to watch. Maxi looks really comfortable. I'm enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this. Now the Heat steal the inbound. And there goes Hakez in. And I'm sorry, I thought he wasn't playing and I thought he was starting. But here he is off the bench, and Jaime Hake is going to go in for an and one. So just a bad choice there by uh, by campaign. <clears throat> Got to be better and more alert on that. Ubre tried to swat it in the next year. So the and one will be good. It's a 10-point lead for the Sixers. Cameron Payne just slipped on the inbound again. Campaign, what the hell are you doing? Bro. My guy just slipped on the inbound and, and went out of bounds. Are you kidding me? Nah, you can't have this. You can't have this. Mm-mm. So now the Heat get it again. Three possessions in a row, essentially. Here's Jimmy Butler working against Buddy Heald. He's going to drive with the left, kick it out. High Smith. Off the dribble against campaign, throws it down low, and Kevin Love wide open. Bro, come on. Can't happen, man. Can't happen. Every possession matters in this game, man. Every possession matters. Here's Joel Embiid. He gets trapped by three, goes up all the way. What a play by Joel Embiid. Are you kidding me? Embiid half court. Bro, my guy Joel Embiid just went through three defenders and did a freaking Steph Curry layup, threw it up to the moon. Wow. Wow. So besides that debacle there at the end of the quarter, man, what a freaking quarter. 39 to 29. Can we get some fires in the chat, man? Wow. 500 people in the chat right now. Guys, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Get us up to 300 likes. We'll hit the MVP chant. Let's go. Let's go, man. Joel is back. Joel is back. This team is back. This must be the starting lineup that the Sixers move forward with. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We've seen it. We've seen it now. Tyrese Maxey and Joel Embiid combined for 28 points in the first quarter. I think we're also seeing something that we didn't really realize before and that Tyrese Maxey must have been banged up like, really bad because he was out a couple games with injury. But, dude, like, he just looks, he looks really good right now. 
I'm not going to be one of those people right now to like, you know, go back at people in the chat. But for, you know, there's been certain people in here the last several weeks, like, oh, Tyrese Max, he can't lead a team and this and that. Even though he's a 23 year old who's been through a lot in his career already. All I'm saying is, man, you got to like really look at what you have here. Joel and Tyrese can be that duo. They really can. When healthy, they can be a duo for sure. Tyrese looks electric right now. I said this on the stream last night. It almost feels like this season has been like four different parts. Like, if you remember the part before Joel Embiid got injured, this team was beating everybody. They were, like, taking teams down in the first three quarters, and they were resting in the fourth. And Joel was dropping 40 points in three quarters. Like, that team was dominant for the most part. That's how I feel right now, man. This team looks like that again. But again, you know, just one game. However, this is an important one. This is an important one for sure. 28 of the first 39 belong to Joel and Tyrese. Here's Joel and B to start the second. Buddy healed for three. Comes up a little bit short. Here come the Miami Heat. Kevin Love going to find Jimmy Butler. Butler dribble drives with the left, spins, kicks it out. Martin sidestep drives, kicks High Smith in the corner, and he hits a three. Down to a seven-point game. Heat are tough, man. Here's Kelly Oubre. Can he answer? A little bit short. Martin tips it out, picked up by Miami. They're coming back storming. Come on now. Martin wide open for three. Luckily, the Sixers get the rebound off a wide open miss, but come on now. Come on now. KJ Martin going to find Joel. The Heat are making defensive adjustments already. Lowry for three, missed it. Oubre taps it and rebounded by Hawkins. Highsmith going right down the lane, kicks it out to the corner. Butler, the pump fake against Joel. Butler going to go baseline, kicks it out. Love tried to jump into a three ball foul. And he could not. Embiid hits the deck. And here come the Sixers. Lowry with the rock. Sixers lead it by seven. Here's Embiid off of a foot. And he got it. What a play by Joel. Haven't seen that in a while. Or maybe ever. Ake is going to find Highsmith at the top. Here's a three ball. And he banked it in. Tough shot. Tough shot. Sixers are getting a little bit stagnant here. Lowry to healed. Healed for three. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Jimmy Butler going all the way against Oubre, and he finishes tough. Come on, man. Four-point game. Buddy, you got to make those damn threes. Here's Kelly Oubre. Oubre going to find Lowry. Now, buddy. Heater in a zone defense. Sixers need to be able to shoot their way out of it. Larry wide open in the corner. Come on, man. You're wide open. You're wide open. Kevin Love goes all the way. Nobody even went after him. Are you kidding me? Two-point game, bro. Bro. Oh, my gosh, bro. Like I say, you know, basketball is a game of runs. I get it, but come on now. As soon as Eric Spolstra switched to his own defense, the Sixers forgot how to shoot. They forgot how to shoot. You're wide open, buddy. Buddy, you're wide open. Kyle, you're wide open. Come on, man. 
You, you, you let Tyrese go to the bench. Everybody forgets how to shoot. What's going on here? What's going on here? Guys, 530 people in the chat. Do me a favor. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, help us get to 35.2K and help us get to 500 likes so we can push this stream around, man. That, that, was, that was a fast collapse. That was a fast collapse. Let's go. Like I said, man, I'm not expecting them to hit every shot, you know? But as soon as Spolcher went to a zone, the Sixers forgot how to shoot. Sixers lead it by two, 41 to 39. Maxie going to find Batum. Batum back to Maxie. Maxie for three, and another one missed. Jimmy Butler going to find Martin. Martin for three, and it comes up short. But the Heat track it down yet again. Love at the Hawkes. Hawkes going to drive, spin. Butler can't get the acrobatic circus shot. Here come the Sixers on the break. Ubre threw it out the Batum, but it's going to be an offensive foul on Ubre. $5 Super Chat. Mr. Roddy Poo says ball movement was fantastic, but dudes cannot hit open shots. It's crazy Sixers special. They were hitting them. They were hitting more contested shots. Then they went to zone. And then they stopped hitting everything. So now the Sixers actually have the ball. I guess they did call it on Kevin Love. Max, you going to find Oubre. Dribbles, drives, still against the zone, goes up, and finally got it. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Let's go, man. Come on, man. Jimmy Butler going to drive, spin, kicks it back out. High Smith for three. Came up short. Heat track it down again. This time the Sixers get it, though, off the bounce. Here comes Maxi. Going to find Lowry. Back to Maxi. Batum going to find Lowry. Lowry going to find Embiid. Embiid puts it up. Missed it again. Come on, man. You got to hit shots. Got to hit shots. Jimmy Butler going to step back, find Highsmith. Two on the shot clock goes all the way. Wow. Reverse acrobatic layup for Haywood Highsmith, the former sixer. Unreal, man. Unreal.
Batum cuts inside, goes up, missed it again. The Sixers cannot find the basket right now, ladies and gentlemen. They cannot find the basket. And there goes Miami yet again. It is a tie game, ladies and gentlemen. It is a tie game. Crowd's getting some noise now, and B goes up, missed it again. 6.20 to play in the second, and the Heat can take the lead. Martin puts it up and got it, and there goes the lead just like that. The Sixers are now trailing. How do you blow a 16-point lead like that? How do you blow a 16-point lead like that? Eric Spolcher makes one change to his own defense, and it threw us all out of whack, apparently. We forgot how to shoot the basketball, even though we were getting open looks. We just forgot how to shoot, I guess. Everybody started to brick open threes, whether it's Lowry. I think he missed two of them. I think Ubre missed a couple. Who else? Buddy. Buddy Heald might have to get. I mean, Buddy, come on, bro. Come on, Buddy. You got to do something for us, bro. Please. Please. There's no way you should just stop making shots. I feel, I feel like we haven't scored in like 10 minutes. Let's go. It's just the fact that like the like we couldn't even hold the lead for a quarter? Come on, man. It's gonna be a dog fight. I already knew that, but come on, man. You can't miss shots for five minutes straight. Five dollar super chat, Mr. Rudy Poo. Thank you so much, man. Maxi looks scared against his own, literally shivering. I need him to step the F up. You're the point guard. I can't say Maxi has looked scared in this game. Tyrese Maxi went to the bench, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Maxi went to the bench and the league collapsed. That's what happened. I feel like that's just Tyrese Maxi hate, to be honest. Ubre going to drive, gets plucked again. Here come the Miami Heat. Martin brings it down the floor. He's going to find Rozier. Dribbled it off his ankle, fell on the ground. Ubre fighting for it. And it's going to be a jump ball. Like I said, man, we knew. We knew this game, like, the, the Heat are not going to go out easy, right? They never do, but I don't know. You can't just start missing shots like that. You can't just start missing wide-open shots. Like, Spolster makes one change and you, you forget how to shoot the ball? Come on, man. 
Sixers win the tip. Here we go. Heat lead at 46-43. It was a 16-point lead for Philly, and it evaporated. Here goes Maxi all the way to the rim. Up and in. Tyrese Maxi beating the zone. Finally gets back on the scoreboard. His first points here in the second. Here is Bam out of bio at the top. He's going to find Terry Rozier. Comes around the screen. Rozier going to step back. Finds Jaime Hawkins. Now Martin. Four on the shot clock. He's going to find Adebayo, but it was poked away by Paul Reed. So 3.6 on the shot clock. 5.09 to go here in the second. Guys, we are in here rocking all night, man. I need y'all to help me out, though. Give me 30 more likes. Get us up to 300. We got 500 in the chat. Appreciate you guys being here, man. Rogier dribbling, driving all the way in. Missed it again. And a shot clock violation, I guess. They actually called it, even though the Sixers had the ball. But, okay. Okay. Tyrese Maxey going to dribble drive against Adebayo. Kicks it out. Ubre for three. A wild shot. Probably not the best look. Here comes Miami. Hawkins drives, kicks, Highsmith. Payne tried to pick his pocket. Rogier on the other end for three, missed it. Picked up by Batum. Here come the Sixers. Let's go. And Payne wants a shot at one, and he hits. Sixers finally knocked down a three ball. I think it's their first of the quarter. And they are back on top, 48-46. to 46. Martin all the way to the rim, up. And they call a foul on campaign. All right, let's shout some people out in the chat, man. K.A. Bland, what's up, bro? Don Boyle, what's up? Sean J., we got all the great members in here. If the members are in here, drop those fire emojis. We got to get some energy back in this chat, man. And the first one going to be missed by Caleb Martin. It's 48 to 46. There's everybody. What's up, yo? What is up, RJ, my guy? Fire take goats. Show key, what's up, bro? We got Steve, Secret Dom. We got Wade in the chat, K.A. Blam, Kion, what's up? Let's go, JSC. Let's go. Come on, we got to get back on track here. One for two for Miami. Still have a lot of game left to play. This is a big one tonight. A lot of implications for the 76ers, man. Miami's still in a zone, it looks like. Reed going to drive, go up, and got it with the left hand. Nice bucket for B-ball Paul. We need that. We need that. Rozier going to find Duncan Robinson back in the game. He's coming around his screen. Duncan going to drive with the left, working against Batum. Nice defense. High Smith going to find Adebayo. Five on the shot clock. Adebayo working, spinning against Reed. One second. Has to put up a fadeaway, and it's short. Great defense. Great defense. Let's go, man. Guys, we need 15 more likes. Who's going to get us to 300, man? Who's going to get us to 300? If you guys are new, consider subscribing to the channel if you do enjoy this show. We got a lot of content coming in the playoffs. Maxi going to dribble drive. Maxi the floater. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Tyrese. Rogier going to find Martin up top. Maxi up to 19 on the night. Here's Martin. Using his body. Lost control. And it was kicked by Miami. Kicked by Rozier. It's going to go the other way. Sixers with the rock. Maxi getting going early here. He's back on track. 19-4-5 for Tyrese Maxi. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Feels like a freaking playoff game, man. Feels like a playoff game up in here. Maxi at the top. He's working against Robinson. Heat in a zone again. Maxi going to dribble, drive, go up all the way. What a finish by Tyrese Maxi in traffic. The kid is uh, smiling. He's screaming. He is emphatic. First game back, and he looks incredible. He looks incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, we need four more likes. Do me a favor. If you are in here rocking with us all night long, drop a yes, sir, in the chat, man. Drop a yes, sir, in the chat. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. I am pumped, man. This is going to be a crazy second half. This is going to be cardiac playoff environment. I love all of you guys. I appreciate you guys and gals. We're, we've been doing this all year. We do this every game. We drop videos. We go live on, almost every day. We're giving you the content, man. Show us some support. We got 300 likes in the chat. Drop the yes, sir, baby. Time to wake the neighbors up. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Yes, Let's go. Woo. Come on now. Come on now. We're running it back. We're running it back. Let's freaking go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm pumped up, man. I am pumped up. 235 to go in this crazy first half. The Sixers up by seven. Butler dribble drives with the left, floats it up, missed it. And the Sixers come down with it. Here comes Tyrese Maxey. Maxey the one bouncer and beat all the way. Got it. Finger roll and beat back in action. He's done it twice now. And one Joel and <laughs> One baby, and one, and one. Joel is cooking, baby. Drop those ones in the chat. Let's go. Six hundred and forty people in the building. You guys are the best, man. You guys are the best. Kyle Lowry's telling him to flex. Telling him to flex, baby. Let's go. And Joel and B going to knock it down. If you guys are just tapping in here, a lot of implications on the line for playoff standings. Sixers need this win. Miami needs this win. We are winding down the first half. It's 2-10 to play. Jimmy Butler going to spin against his former buddy Kyle Lowry. At a bio, floats one up, missed it off to the left. And they're going to say Larry fouled Butler on the rebound. Larry's complaining. He didn't like the call, but hey, here we are. Here we are. Guys, keep smashing that like button. Get us up to 500, man. You guys are all the MVPs. Did Embiid develop a secret shot in his injury? He might have. Joel B came back with a finger roll and a floater. I don't know what happened to him, but here we are. Here we are. Jimmy Butler going to drive, go downhill, turns, kicks out the high Smith. Another three ball. This one short, one-handed by Oubre on a rebound. And here come the 76ers. Maxi around the screen. Maxi going to drive. One bounce out to Embiid. Embiid for three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woo. Oh, we need that. We need that, Joe. We need that. 39 combined for Joel and Tyrese. One and a half to play here in the first half. Butler going to drive, kick up the Rogier for three. Cannot answer, but Toom tracks down the board. And here come the 76ers. They're on a 17-1 to run. After choking a 16-point lead early, here's Maxi. Maxi 
working against Adebayo. Maxi to Embiid. Embiid working. Embiid, the jab, the pump fake, puts it up again, can't get the roll, rebounded by Bam Adebayo, and it's stolen away by Lowry. Maxi for three, yes! Yes! What a play by Kyle Lowry! Time out. Now they're going to call a foul. They call a foul on Batum, but whatever, man. Wow, what a play. The Sixers are on a 20 to run. 20 to 1 run. And there goes Adebayo all the way to the rim, up and in. It's going to be a foul and one. It's on Joel Embiid. Tough one. <sighs> this freaking Miami team, I, I know it, man. They're one of those teams that it, they're just going to be hard to put away. It's going to be hard to put this team away. Even go like say you play them in the playing, right? Like it's going to be hard to put this team away. Adebayo going to knock down the free throw. It is a 13 point lead. The Sixers need to keep it at 13. They need to keep it at 13 going into halftime or extended. Maxi, how about another 3? Tough shot. Tough shot. Need a stop. Need a stop. Three ball. Rozier comes up short. Adebayo crashes the glass. Here is Robinson for three. Missed it. They get another rebound. Another push shot, and it goes. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Ten seconds ago. One more shot. Hold it. Hold it to the end. Maxi Joel, and he threw it away. One second, Rozier at the buzzer. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? All you had to do was hold the ball. All you had to do was hold the ball. What are we doing, man? What are we doing? Am I go am I going crazy here? Am I going crazy? We were just up 15, 14, excuse me. We were just up 14 points like literally about 20 seconds ago. Am I losing my damn mind? Am I in a, an alternate universe right now? All I had to do was hold the ball. Rozier takes it away and and shoots a deep 3. I mean, come on, bro. Come on, bro. You got to be kidding me. Come on, bro. Anyway, what a wild, uh, wild first half of runs. Uh, the Sixers lead it 63 to 55. So they are up by eight points. Feels like they were just up 14 about 10 seconds ago. But this one's going to be tough, man. It, it's going to be tough. I want you guys to let me know in the chat right now how you're feeling about this game. I want you guys to let me know in the chat how you're feeling about this game right now. Because they've had two huge leads. They've had two huge leads, and it feels like they're trying to give it right back. But we know what's at stake, a potential number six seed. This is the most important game of the season. You, can't, you have to limit those brutal mistakes, man. This, this second half is going to tell us a lot about who this team is. So... I don't know, man. It's been a wild one so far. If you guys are just hopping in here, do me a favor. Like the stream. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for being in here. Shout out to my members and everybody else. Uh, give me your thoughts in the chat, man, because that was a wild way to end the first half. Sixers were on a 20-1 to run, and then they gave up about eight easy points. So uh, we will see how it goes. We'll see how it goes.
Um, but before I jump into the comments and go over the stats and what needs to happen, let me go ahead and give a great shout out to our sponsor here of tonight's show. That is Bet US. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to check out Bet US. Click our link pinned in the chat or down in the description. Bet US is the number one online sports book. They are currently offering all of you a 125% deposit match bonus up to $2,500 on your first three deposits. So if you were to deposit, say, $500, you would get $1,250 to play with off the bat, $1,250. BetUS has 24-7 customer service and 24-hour payouts. So click the link in the description right now. Receive your bonus. Also, they're doing a special giveaway right now, $125 in free play. All you have to do is DM me on Instagram or Twitter and show me your account to get $25 in free play with BetUS. So be sure to DM me. First five people get a $25 free play. And uh, yeah, definitely use them. Right now, the Sixers are a four and a half point favorite. They came into the game as an underdog. Now they're a favorite. We took them on the two and a half spread. But yo, come on, man. Come on, man. What do you guys think? Can they win this game? Who's going to win this game? Who's going to win this game? Let me know. Let me know in the chat. Sixers or Heat? Give me your honest thoughts. Take your fandom, take whatever team you support out of it. If you had to give me right now on the spot, who's going to win this game? Sixers or Miami Heat? Who do you think? Once again, the Sixers are a minus four and a half right now. Shout out to BetUS. Definitely go check them out. And once again, DM me on IG or Twitter to get a $25 free play with BetUS. Um, Damn, bro. I, I don't even know how to judge this game. Like, talk about a roller coaster of emotions, man. I feel like the Sixers can win this game. I feel like they had it in hand, and they still have it in hand. But you see how fast a team like Miami can evaporate a lead. The Sixers were, were up by 16, and as soon as Eric Spolcher made one adjustment going to his own defense, I'm not saying that the Sixers weren't getting open looks because they were. They were still playing their same game, but sometimes, and this is where the expertise of Eric Spolcher comes in, just sometimes seeing a different defense or just like switching things up and kind of just like throwing you off of your loop, right? That messes up you, you know, your mental state. Now, again, that doesn't mean the Sixers should just go 100% cold and they can't hit a three ball. That can't happen. This team is streaky, you know, in the playoffs, if you do that and you, you miss for six minutes straight, you're going to dig yourself into a hole, man. But then the Sixers come back and they go on a 20 to 1 run. They say it's a game of runs, right? They say it's a game of runs, but come on now. Come on now. Nick Nurse made an adjustment. Eric Spolcher made an adjustment. Sixers were hot, then the Heat got hot. I just don't like the the way that the Sixers collapsed those leads, right? Like campaign falling out of bounds on an inbound, giving away two possessions. That can't happen. I don't like, you know, 76ers uh, giving it away there on the final possession and Terry Rozier gets a half court three almost just because the Sixers made a bad decision. Like, you got to hope that Joel Embiid's healthy and, and has enough energy in this second half because the Heat are going to work him. They're going to work him. And, you know, Sixers have to be able to inbound the ball in crunch time. They're going to, you know, need to be able to, like, get somebody else going. Obviously, Tyrese Maxey's having a game tonight, but can he keep it up? You know Spolcher's going to make adjustments. So we will see, man. Give me your give me your thoughts in the chat. We'll read a couple out. Uh, Joel Embiid with 21 points in this game, eight for 13. He's having another incredible game. Feels like he hasn't missed too much of a beat. Three rebounds for Joel Embiid. Uh, Tyrese Maxey with 24, five rebounds and seven assists. So Tyrese Maxey and Joel Embiid with 45 combined points out of 63. Ubre with six, Larry with three, Batum with nothing. And that's really been the whole story. It's been Embiid and Maxi. No Tobias Harris tonight. Sixers were playing incredible defense to begin this game. Felt like they were turning a lot of easy points uh, off of turnovers. 
But then you know what Miami can do, man. They have some of that championship DNA. You know, they come out there and they just suffocate you. So uh, Jimmy Butler hasn't really gotten going yet. Nine points. Rozier with 11. Haywood Highsmith is the leading scorer for Miami. So you're going to have to expect Butler and Robinson and some of these guys and Adebayo to step up. But it's going to come down to, you know, whether the Sixers can remain consistent. Can they remain consistent, you know? Can't turn the ball over. Can't make timely mistakes as much as they are right now if you want to win this game. This already feels like a playoff environment, and it's going to feel like a playoff environment down the stretch. It's going to be tough, man. What do you guys think in the chat? Don Boyle says, make sure we have the last run of the game. Chris says, I don't like the way that we let the lead go. But with that said, it's Joel's second game back, and we looked amazing at certain points. That's true. I believe the bench will step up in the second half, says Sean. Noom says, you can see Joel is not ready to be a solid rebounder off the injury yet. Grace says, we need more rebounds and less careless passing. I agree with that. Sixers had, uh, how many? Five turnovers. That's not a lot in the first half, but Miami had seven. Sixers getting out rebounded though. Nothing new. A couple wide open threes that were missed though that you want back. Buddy Heald, Kyle Lowry, Ubre. They got to make some of these shots, man. Jay Z says, hopefully Nurse tries to squeeze campaign in for his shooting and playmaking. I feel like Nurse may not even go back to campaign in this game after the couple mistakes. So. On a positive note, though, like somebody in the chat was just saying, kind of like I agree, Joel Embiid looks pretty good. So, I mean, that's that's going to be a positive every single time. Like, he's not really rusty. And he's kind of deferring to Maxi at certain points to begin this game, which I like. I like Maxi kind of taking the reins, like, yeah, let me take over. So, yeah, I'm happy with what I'm seeing out of Maxi and Embiid, both coming off an of injury. Um... I do like the starting lineup that they presented in this game without Tobias, but who's going to make the most winning plays, man? Who's going to make the most winning plays? Lonel says we need better defense. Rob says we need somebody else to score. I agree. Somebody's going to have to step up at one point in this game. So, uh, Larry, we're going to need you to make some winning plays. Game of runs, baby. Game of runs. Guys, we got 500 people in here. Uh, thank you all so much for being here so far. We will be uh, live every single game as we have been into the playoffs as well. We'll, we'll be doing uh, preview coverage, videos, etc. And uh, we got the number one place for Sixer fans, NBA fans to come together and watch these games. So uh, welcome on into the show. If you have not yet, do me a favor. Interact in the chat, man. Get active. Drop some comments. Like the stream. Subscribe to the channel. Got you covered every single day. The ultimate question is, who's going to win this game? Who's going to win this game? What do you guys think? Sixers or Heat? Sixers or Heat? Where's the mod squad at, man? Secret, if you're in here, man, drop the Discord link. Guys, be sure to join our Discord so you can interact with us, call into the show, etc. Drop that Discord link in here. Dom says Ubre has two. He's been that dude. He's very capable. I believe in Kelly Ubre. I believe in Kelly Ubre. But if Eric Spolcher goes to his own defense again, you can't just get all fluttered and, and start bricking wide open threes. I mean, the fact that Haywood Highsmith is your leading scorer says a lot. It says a lot. So. We will see. 
Ryan Mills in the chat. What's up, man? Sean says, join the nation. Shout out to the Fire Take Nation. If you're a channel member in here, man, drop some fires. Get us going. Let's go. Let's go, man. We have a big, big second half coming up. If you guys don't know the implications of this game, essentially, this game is a big component in deciding who may snag the number six seed and who may avoid the playing tournament. So both teams desperately need a win. If the Sixers are really who we think they are with Joel Embiid back, they will find a way to win this game on the road. This is the biggest game of the season by far. Lexi in the chat. Shout out to Lexi dropping the emoji. C block in here. Shout out to the Fire Take Nation, man. Let's freaking go. Let's go. Let me go ahead and drop the uh, Discord link in here. Sixers need this win, man. They need this win. Clark says, we are more talented, but they are a well-oiled machine. I think that's a good way to put it. I mean, the Heat are talented, but again, they have that Heat culture, you know? They're not going to go down easy in any game. In any game. I think Nick Nurse has to trim the rotation in the second half. That's another key for me. I would, I mean, obviously you can't play and be too many minutes, but I would honestly try to limit as much as possible. I really would. I would try to limit as much as possible because, um, yeah, you're, you're, you're going to need to win this game. So I would not play too many bench minutes in, in this second half unless you have to. Like Buddy Heald, for example, is 0 for 3, and he's been awful. Remo in the chat. What's up, man? Let's go. Let's go. Guys, get us up to 500 likes. Second half underway. Just about. Oh, boy. Cardiac Sixers incoming. Guys, once again, use our BetUS link. It's pinned in the chat. Go ahead and check out all the odds on BetUS and get a 125% deposit bonus. Let's go. Forty five points in the first half between Embiid and Maxi. Time for your time for your two anchors to lead you to a victory, man. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta be active on the glass, too. Also, guys, just a reminder, we're giving away a Joel and B jersey in a couple weeks. All the ways you can enter are below. All the members are automatically entered. Thank you for the Fire Take Nation support in the channel. Habib says, need to figure out the Miami zone defense. I, I mean, they f it's not that you have to figure it out, but I just think when Spolstra makes a switch like that abruptly, you can't just stop doing what you're doing. You know, you have to be confident in your game. And uh, they just started missing every single shot wide open. They were still getting easy looks, but I mean, come on now. Come on. All right, here we go. Joel and B. To begin the second half, finds Lowry back to Embiid, and it is turned over off the rip. Tough pass by Lowry. Adebayo, Jovic, and an easy flush. Nobody in sight, and that is not the way you want to begin the second half. <sighs> Miami looks like they're in a zone again. Wait, let's see. Actually, no, it looks like they're in man to begin the second. And the Sixers going to answer right back on behalf of Joel and B. Nice shot to begin the third quarter after a bad turnover. So the Sixers are up by eight. Ubre trying to poke it away from Jovic. He's trying to slap at the ball right up in his grill. Here's Adebayo going to find Rogier. Step back three, and he hit it off a foot. 
What a shot by Terry Rozier. He makes it a five-point game. 10.45 to go here in the third. All right, never mind. They're back in his zone. Yeah, it looks like they're in his zone. And B going to spin, drive up, in, and foul. Joel and B to the line for two. Clark says, RB, you better keep watching the Sixers in the arena. Every time you're there, they win. You're a four leaf clover. That's a fact, Clark. That's a fact. 4 0, by the way. 4 0 when I attend the games this year. Can we get the RB? Season ticket fun started, man. Can we get the season ticket fun started or what? Send me to every game. Joel going to miss the first. I will say Embiid's playing better than he usually does here in Miami, but Sixers are going to have to take it up a notch here in the second half. Let's go, man. Seeker, drop that uh, membership link in the chat if you have not yet. One for two to begin this third quarter there from the line. 66 to 60. Rogier at the top, goes behind the back, drives, kicks it out, wide open at a bio, and he banked it in. Right off the glass, and it's a three-point game. Oh, man. Come on. Kyle Lowry going to kick it to Batum. Back up to Lowry. Embiid comes to set the screen. Lowry guarded by Robinson. Switched on to Adebayo. Steps back for two, and he hit it. What a shot for Kyle Lowry. Five-point lead for the Sixers. Rozier guarded by Kelly Oubre comes around the screen. Now he's going to spin, find Robinson, a pull up, spot up, missed it. Embiid picks it up, and he will take it down the floor himself. Well, hands it off to Lowry. Lowry wants another shot. Lowry for three. Come on, man. Yes, Come on. sir. Come on. Big time shots out of Kyle Lowry. Here's Jimmy Butler going to drive all the way. Goes up. Blocked by Embiid. Maybe no block, but he was nice defense going vertical. Maxi for three, and he comes up short. Butler for three, and he's going to miss that one from the wing. Couple straight misses from Philly. Here's Joel Embiid. Embiid. Working against Adebayo and Embiid. Embiid grabbing his knee. Adebayo just dove on top of him. Don't like that. Oh. All right, thankfully Joel's okay. He steps back for two and he missed it that time, but whoo, just missed potential tragedy. Robinson wide open for three. Nobody goes after him, and it's a wide open make for the Miami Heat. Here's Tyrese Maxey. Maxey guarded by Adebayo. Maxey going to find Joel and B. Joel against Jimmy. Former friends. Here's Joel going to turn, fade. Got it. What a shot. Rogier against Larry going to find out a bio kicks it to the corner. Jovic a three can't get it to full tapped out by Larry going to stay with Miami fresh 14 on the clock. Yeah, we need some fires in the chat, man. We need some fires in the chat. Let's go. 
he turned it. He'd actually got a quick bucket. They didn't really show it, but Sixers lead it by six. Guys, how are we not at 400 likes yet, man? 600 in the chat. Let's go. Get those likes up. Get those likes up, man. Larry, or excuse me, Oubre going one-on-one, pulls it up. Got it. What a shot by Kelly Oubre. Wow. Kelly. Oh, he's on fire, baby. He's on fire. Just because I said so. Here's Bam Adebayo working against Embiid. Finds Jovic. Floats one up. Missed it. Adebayo tried to tap it in. Missed it again. Can somebody get a rebound? Adebayo up for a third time, and he gets it to fall. Come on, man. Third opportunity. Third opportunity. Larry spinning against Robinson, going to drive, go up all the way, and he missed it. Larry on the ground, heat with an advantage, five on four. Jovic down the alleyway, goes up, in with the left. Tough bucket for the Rook. How do you get the picture emojis? You have to be a member. Get exclusive perks by becoming a channel member. You also get the cool loyalty badges in the chat. Embiid for three. Yes! Joel Embiid. Joel Hans Embiid is absolutely unreal, man. Joel Embiid is absolutely unreal, man. Joel Embiid is absolutely unreal. Adebayo floats it up, and Butler was fouled. Ladies and gentlemen, Joel Embiid is absolutely incredible. Twenty nine points for Joel Embiid in twenty two minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to like really just think about this for a second, okay? I want you to really think about this. Like, Joel Embiid is one of the greatest talents that we have seen. This guy comes back from an injury. He's not even supposed to really be playing. This dude's got 29 points in 22 minutes. Like, he he is unreal, man. All those people that used to come in here earlier this season and years prior, oh, you know, Joel this, Joel that. Did you enjoy watching Joel Embiid or, or watching the Sixers without Joel Embiid the last two months? This guy completely changes everything. This guy completely changes the dynamic of the game. Sixers are a different team they're they're not even nearly the same team crazy man wow he is absolutely the most valuable player in the league there's no question there's no question he might drop 40 tonight anyway man thank you guys for being in here so far we got 600 in the chat do me a favor we're almost at 400 likes. Get us up, man. Get us up. Drop some MVPs in the chat. Man. It says a lot about the man to even come back from this injury in the timetable that he did. And, and he comes back. There's no rust at all. He looked right in stride the other night. Now he's got 29 points already in this game. I mean, what what else can you ask from Joel Embiid? What else can you expect from this guy? He is unbelievable. I don't know how many times I have to say it. I don't know how many times I have to say it. I said it months ago. I said it years ago. I like This guy is incredible. Enjoy this. Appreciate it. This guy wants to win, man. Let's freaking go. We got my guy Randy F. Gifting five memberships in the chat. Yo, Randy is coming for heads, man. He wants that Joel Embiid jersey. And oh, by the way, guess what? He just earned 100 more entries into the giveaway. Let's go. My guy Randy always showing love, man. Shout out to the members. Drop some MVPs for Randy F. Let's go.
Fire me up, Randy. Heat's pass stolen by Reed. Here comes Oubre. 5.45 to go in the third. Maxi at the top, guarded by Robinson. Can Maxi get his flow going again? We need that. We need that, Tyrese. Let's go, Tyrese. Here comes a double team. Tyrese, Lowry, pump fake, drive, one bounce, Batum, corner three. Came up short. Somebody might have got a tip on that. Here come Miami. Rogier goes by Oubre and blocked from behind. What a play on the defensive end by Kelly Oubre Jr. Tyrese coming around the screen. Maxi around another one. Puts it up mid-range. Yes, sir. Tyrese. Woo. Let's freaking go, man. Jimmy Butler in the corner. He's going to dribble, drive, step through, go up, lost it again. Sixers with a chance to make a run. Maxi all the way, missed it. And Reed couldn't pull it in. And now, oh no, Reed, Reed was saying that they touch it, but they didn't. $5 super chat from Mr. Roddy Poo says, I'm watching Bam carefully, but he is trying to hurt Joel. Spole is employing him to perform activity. Hey, man, I, I'm not going to say that, but you keep your eyes on it, and hopefully Joel stays healthy, man. But, yeah, I don't like him diving on the knee like that, for sure. For sure. Guys, shout out to Randy, man. Yeah, drop some MVPs for him, man. He deserves it. I hope he wins the jersey. Eight more likes. Get us to 400 so we can ring the horn, wake up the neighbors. Playoff environment here in South Beach. Sixers up by 10. Just over a quarter to go. Adebayo working against Reed. He's going to drive with the left, pull it up from about six feet, and he got it. Tough shot by Bam Adebayo. Eight-point game. Buddy healed back in. Don't know if he should stay in too long. He's been very cold. Here's Ubre going to drive. Ubre pulls it up short. Reed trying to corral it, and he cannot. Picked up by Bam Adebayo, who is really just a jack of all trades. Wow, what a move by Rogier in transition. Goes up, reverse slay, and got it to sink. Wow, what a play by Terry Rogier. Batum going to find Ubre. Ubre dribbles, drives all the way, and throws it down. Oh, what a slam by Ubre. Wow. The emphatic tomahawk slam, and then it's going the other way. Ubre draws the foul. Resign Kelly Ubre tonight. Resign him yesterday. Nah, man. Kelly Ubre's a winner. Kelly Ubre's a winner, man. Kelly Ubre's a winner, man. Maxi, Embiid, Ubre, we have a chance against anybody. Martin, buddy, pump fake, buddy, we need one. Please, please. Damn it. Are you kidding me, buddy? Can you make a shot? Why'd we trade for you? Jovic on the other end. It is time to be concerned about Buddy Hill, man. Maxi going to drive, spin, fade. What a shot. Tyrese puts it back in to a seven-point game. Rogier trying to answer with a three of his own. He cannot. Sixers, we need to run here. We need to run. Maxi, do it again. Maxi, do it again. Maxi, do it again. One-on-one. -on -one. He gets switched. On a Jovic. Here comes the step back. You know it's coming. Maxi for three. A little bit short. <sighs> KJ Martin putting up the fence. Tried to pluck it away. Rogier threw it to the corner. Reed wings it down the floor. Buddy all the way, and he missed the layup. They call a foul at the end of the play. Buddy emphatically pissed off. Nice defensive play by the Sixers. They're going to need more of that. They're going to need more of that.
This is this is like the actual cardiac. You know what I mean? We got 700 amazing people in here. Thank you guys so much for being in here. If you have not yet, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. We got 400 likes. Drop the yes, sirs. Get it to 500 now. Get it to 500. Cardiac settling in, man. Yes, cardiac. sir. We need defense, man. We need Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, it is coming down to a fourth quarter of cardiac. Blood pressure's going up, ladies and gentlemen. Sixers need to win this game. You want to show us that you're for real? Win this game. Shazy says it ain't it ain't quite cardiac. Could be two points. Shazy, come on, bro. Do you know what's at stake right now? Are you just tapping in here or what? Ladies and gentlemen, this game could decide whether the Sixers get an extra week of rest. Whether Joel B gets an extra five days of rest. It could decide whether you play the Cavs and Bucks in the playoffs or if you end up playing the Celtics, okay? This is cardiac. Buddy Hill going to knock down two for two at the line. Much needed. Sixers lead it by nine. Buddy Hill is broken. I agree. I don't know what's going on with him, but we need it. We need him. If Buddy can knock down these shots, it'll provide a, a, a needed element to this team. Butler going to spin, fade away, miss it off the rim. Kevin Love going to find Hawkins, goes up. And gets it to go off the glass. Healed once one from the corner and he missed it. Oh boy. Three ball again this time from Love. He missed it. Here come the 76ers. It's. Ubre throwing it down to Embiid. What a terrible pass. What a terrible pass. Miami on the other end, three ball, and it goes. Come on, Kelly. You can't do that. You can't do that, man. For the Sixers, it is Buddy Heel campaign. Martin, Ubre and Embiid for the Heat. Hawkes, Martin, Jimmy Butler, Terry Rozier, and Kevin Love. Here's Joel. Goes right into the rim. Missed the layup. Come on. You cannot do this. Rozier in transition for three. Missed it. Butler gets the rebound up and in. Bro. Bro. Can somebody rebound? Can somebody get a rebound? Please. Can, can, please. Payne going to find Buddy Heald. Heald back to campaign. Almost walked with it. Buddy Heald. Yo, what are we doing? Sixers look like they can't combat his own. Embiid goes in against three, falls to the floor, and he missed it all with one hand. Here come the Heat, a chance to tie or take the lead. Martin down to Butler. Butler goes in. And he just got fouled in one. He throws it down. Butler with a chance to take the lead.
I got a question for you guys in the chat, man. Because I just put it out here on Twitter and everybody's crying. But are, are you guys concerned about Buddy Heald? Because I'm very, very concerned. I would not play him the rest of this game. Not saying that he's the reason that we're the only reason that we're losing. But, like, come on, man. You're 0 for 5? They said when it, when Embiid came back, Buddy Heald would be great. What's going on, man? Then you got Kelly Oubre, who, you know, you love his aggression, but you can't make that turnover, man. He go on a quick run, and now they're winning after a Jimmy Butler free throw. Guys, we got 740 people in the chat. Do me a favor. Please hit the like button and get us the 500 likes as we wind down the third quarter and beat a step back three. Missed it. Healed, put it back. Missed it again. And that'll take us to the fourth quarter. So it's been a game of runs. And the 76ers find themselves on the bad end of one. Who said this wasn't cardiac? That's a fact. Who said this wasn't cardiac? This game is going to rip somebody's heart out, and I hope it is not ours, man. Sixers were just up by like eight points again, and they lost it like that. It feels like a playoff game. It feels like a playoff game. Guys, all the ways to support the show are down in the description. Join the uh, Discord. Follow us on all platforms and join our uh, our channel memberships if you want to support the show. Guys, one quarter to go. Who's going to win, man? Let's put a poll up, actually. Let's put a poll. This game is the most important game of the season. Might actually be the most important game for both of these teams right now. Sixers are a game and a half behind Miami and Indiana. If they want a shot at the sixth seed, it feels like they need to win this game. They need to win this game, man. Let's go. Who do you guys think is going to win, Sixers or Miami? Give me your thoughts in the chat. If you have not yet, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's give one more shout out to our great sponsor of tonight's show, BetUS. Because favorite sportsbook and casino, live betting and racebook, we're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer, a 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits, plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. Bet US, where the game begins. Bet you. Shout out to Bet US. Oh boy, going to be tough man it's going to be tough I, there's so much going on in my mind right now about this game it just feels like such a winnable game and it's tough man let's see what the spread is on bet us you guys can get a 125 percent deposit match bonus up to 2500 dollars on your first three deposits using my link pinned in the chat man check it out also dm me on instagram or twitter if you want 25 dollars in free play with bet us they're giving away free play money so DM me on the socials. Um, damn, man, here we go. I don't know what to say. Got to win this game by any means possible. $5 Super Chat, Mr. Roddy Poo says, this is a pretty pathetic showing from the refs. You don't call it one end, but call it on the other. NBA is a watered down product. Butler going right to the rim, up with a left hand layup to begin. The Heat now lead it by three. Sixers are going to have to get the starting unit back on here ASAP. They got Maxi and Embiid, but they're going to need to get everybody else back on here as Batum threw it away. Come on, man. Martin for three. Nice play by Maxi on the other end. He get it back. Love goes up and blocked by Embiid. They're going to say it's goaltending. Bro. Bro. So now it's a five-point lead for Miami. They're on a big run. Sixers need to put an end to it. They're in a zone defense again. Joel puts it up. Missed it. Martin tried to tip it in. Are you kidding me? You can't tip in a layup? 
Sixers are collapsing fast. They need to stop this. They need to stop this. Come on now. Come on now. Jimmy Butler going to drive, kick it out. Love for three, and he hits. Eight-point lead for Miami. Bro. Come on now. Come on. Batum back to Embiid. What are we doing? What are we doing? Hawk is down to Martin. Back to Butler. <clears throat> he blew the fast break. Butler for three. Rolled in and out. Picked up by Philly. It's an eight-point game. Are you guys going to have any damn heart or what? Maxi and Bede. Back to Maxi. Steps into a triple. Missed it again. Batum trying to tap it up. Martin comes to crash the glass. Back to Embiid. Maxi, you're wide open. We need it. We need it. Maxi, yes. Yes. Oh, thank the Lord, bro. Thank the Lord, man. Oh, my gosh. Like, we needed a shot, dude. Just one. <sighs> Five-point game here in South Beach. Everything on the line. Kevin Love, a step back three. He cannot answer. Who wants it? Who wants it? Guys, drop a like on the show, man. Everybody spike the like button right now. Get us to 500. Here's campaign. He wants a shot at a deep one. And he hits. And he hits. Cameron Payne with a big time bucket. And it's a two point ball game. Love to a cutting out of bio. Or excuse me, it was Butler who caught it with his right hand, switched to his left, and laid it in all in one motion. Wow, what a play by Jimmy Butler. And now kicked on the other end. Wow, oh wow. Wow, oh wow. Let's go, man. We got to wake up. We got to wake up. Drop some fires in the chat, man. Drop some fires in the chat. Let's go. Let's go. Wake up. Wake up. Joel double teamed and he lost it again. Joel is crumbling right now. They're double teaming him. They're bringing all this type of pressure. He can't seem to get out of it right now. Come on, bro. Four point game. You need a big stop. Sixers now switching to his own defense. Nurse trying to readjust. Hawk is in the corner. Missed a three. How do you let Kevin Love get a rebound? Love the turnaround fade. How do you let Kevin Love get a rebound? The dude is like 57. Are you kidding me? Joel up at the top. Both teams running his own defense. Maxi for three. You can't. I mean, that's a bad shot, man. Love gets it stolen away. Back to the Sixers. They get lucky. Maxi, Lowry, Batum. You got to run a damn play, dude. Relax. Lowry wants a shot at a three. We look so lost, bro. We look lost. Take your time. Come on, man. Come on, man. We got to wake up. We got to wake up. Eight hundred fifty people in the chat. Thank you all so much for being here. Sixer Game Day Live presented by Bet US. Ladies and gentlemen, hit the like button, man. You know what I'm concerned about? You want to know what's going through my head other than like five million things right now? I'm conf I'm concerned and confused because 
This is now the second time that Miami has switched to his own defense, and the Sixers look absolutely confused. They look absolutely lost. Like, what is going on? You've never seen his own defense? You look absolutely befuddled. Like, you've never even seen his own defense before. I don't think Embiid should have even been in to start the fourth quarter if you're going to play him deep down in this game. But you have Embiid and Maxie in, and they switch to his own defense, and, like, guys are, like, lost. Like, they don't, nobody knows what to do. They, they won't take shots. They won't pass. Like, I don't understand it. Nurse needs to tell these guys to relax. They need to relax for one second. I understand if you're not missing, or if you're not making shots, but like, come on now. You look confused. Anyway, man, uh, we got 740 to play. 860 people in here. Thank you guys so much for being here. How are we, how are we feeling in the chat, man? I'll try to read out some of the comments. Appreciate you guys being in here. Kevin Love is still bleeding, so they're trying to work that situation out. Took a shoulder from Batum. I do agree about the rebounds. I see a couple people talking about rebounds. Um, Sixers are letting the Heat get way too many second chances. Getting out rebounded by eight by now. Right now. Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, everything rides on this game right here. If you want a shot at the number six seed, this is the game you have to win. So, tough one in Miami. The Sixers have been up by 16. They've been up by 15. Game of runs. But here we are. Here we are. If I was Nick Nurse, I would rest Joel Embiid for the next, like, two minutes. Give him a little bit of breathing room. Because if you play Joel the whole fourth quarter, I mean, you're asking for trouble, in my opinion. But maybe you all don't agree with me on that. But we'll see. Campaign remains in the game. Kelly Oubre still on the bench. Rest of the starters are back in. Hawk is to the rim. Oh, they called a foul. Are you kidding me? Who's the foul on? Who's the foul on? Who's the fan one? Nurse, you might have to challenge that one. Nurse is going to challenge it. Thank you. Like, like, who is that on? Who is that on? I want to see it again. Maybe I missed something. Guys, get this to 500 likes, man. We need 40 more. Spike that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let's go. Let's go. We're here every single game, man. We're here every single game. Holy crap, man. Cardiac incoming. Cardiac incoming. Joel Embiid with 29 points still. Tyrese Maxey with 31 points. Drop those 30s for Tyrese, by the way. I forgot to, forgot to do that. Oh, boy. I'm just thinking about how much they need to win this game. Really, that's where I'm at. Let's go. That's where I'm at. This is a must-win game. Joel, Tyrese, they all need to relax. It's like they've never seen his own defense. 
$5 super chat, Mr. Rudy Poo. Thank you so much, man. Did you see that Twitter today where a, did you see that Twitter today where a posted the charts for teams with the most unfavorable ref calls Sixers at number one? I did see that. I did see that. Um, I like how you said, did you see that Twitter today? That was, that's pretty funny, but I did see that the Sixers continue to get screwed by the refs and, uh, I'm used to it at this point. I'm used to it at this point, Roddy. For sure. Sixers are number one in unfavorable calls by the refs, so I'm used to it. Dom says, Joel needs to start getting to his spots and knocking them down. Yeah, he does. They got to get him the ball, though, cleanly. They're bringing a double right away. Right away. They need to get Ubre back in this game. Unsuccessful challenge? Are you going to show the replay or not? Are you going to show the replay? Because who fouled Hawkins? Who fouled him? They're not going to show the replay. First one missed at the line. Cameron Payne back on the bench now. Where was the foul? Hawke is going to knock down the second, so they get a free point. One for two. Okay. Ten more likes, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Both teams running his own defense. Seven and a half to play in a must-win scenario. Here's Kelly Oubre going to dribble, drive, throws it down low. Reed goes up, and they call a late. I was about to say, they blow the late whistle like Reed got bumped from behind. If that was a foul on Hawkins, it has to be a foul on the other end for B-ball Paul. Damn, bro. Re going to miss the first at the line. So I'm confused why Nick Nurse took Joel Embiid out now. Like when's it, I mean, if he only keeps him out for like two minutes, then okay. Joel's played 29 minutes already. So I'm getting concerned on like if he can play more minutes. I mean, maybe he doesn't have a restriction. Who knows? But I don't know. I don't know. Butler going to find Martin back up to Butler. Sixers running a zone. Martin for three. Comes up short. Larry trying to track down the board, and, and nobody gets it. So Miami with another chance. Butler out to Kevin Love for three. Missed it again. Hawkins taps it, and Reed finally picks it up. Oh, my gosh, man. It is cardiac here in Miami. Maxi lost control. Reed goes diving on the floor, swings it out to Lowry to the corner, Maxi dribble, drive, Maxi all the way. Offensive foul. Six thirty to play. Martin going to find Butler going downhill. Goes up and they call it a blocking foul. They call that one a blocking foul. First one going to be good for Jimmy Butler. I mean, you can't do anything about it, I guess. Can't do anything about it, I guess. Got to just got to muscle through. Guys, hit the like button. We got 500 in the chat. Let's go. 500 likes in the building. Yes, sir. Uh, two for two at the line. It's an eight-point lead for the Miami Heat. Sixers are going to sink themselves if they don't start scoring. 
Ubre to Martin. Martin kicks it back. Maxi going to dribble. Step back. Maxi for two, and he hits. So KJ Martin back in for Nico Batu. Maxi hits a tough one. Embiid probably going to try to come back in in a few minutes. Butler going to find Martin. Kicks it out to the corner. And Larry going to get called on the whistle. He pushed him. Six point game. Martin going to find Butler. Butler working against Maxi. Butler going to kick it back. Hawk is wide open. A triple. Missed it. Love gets the rebound. Come on. How do you not get that rebound? Butler. Martin on the move. A three. Missed it. Reed finally picks it up. And here come the 76ers. Down by six. Five and a half to play here in South Beach. Maxi going to find Lowry. Up to Maxi. Maxi over to Ubre. Spots up a three. Can't get it to go. Sixers look petrified to even drive into the paint. And now Miami's going to throw it away on a reckless turnover. And it'll go back to the Sixers. 5-13 to play. 940 in the chat. Thank you all for being here, man. Crazy game here. Coming down to the end. Feels like a playoff environment. Martin drives in, goes up, and got it. K.J. Martin with a big-time bucket. Five minutes to play. Four-point game. Thank you for finally taking it into the paint, man. <clears throat> trying to remain calm man trying to remain calm here five minutes to play and it's a four point game jeez man this has been an absolutely wild game if you are just tuning in thank you for being here like the video like the stream subscribe to the channel it's been an absolutely wild, wild game here in Miami. It's been back and forth all game. Teams blowing big runs. A lot of interesting calls. A lot of interesting adjustments from the coaches. But, um, I mean, it shows us that the Sixers can compete with a team like this, but got to be able to close it out. So, I wish the Sixers would keep attacking the pain here. I mean, Miami's not really doing much. Not really doing much. Who do you guys think is going to win, man? Sixers or Heat? We do this every single game. Thank you so much for being here in the chat, joining us tonight. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Drop those fires in the chat, man. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's get a win. Time for the Sixers to win a tight game like this, man. Time for them to win a game. Let's go. Shout out to all my members in here, man. No spoilers in the chat, but spoilers in the video is fine. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. My heart is pumping right now. This this feels like playoff basketball. This feels like playoff basketball, man. If I'm being honest with you. Feels like playoff basketball. Oh man. Let's go. Sixers need a big stop. Add a bio all the way, and he missed it. I'm sorry, Rozier missed it. Here come the 76ers down by four. 
Big time opportunity here. Who can get a tough bucket? Martin will remain in the game. Maxi to Martin goes up all the way. He lost it. He wanted the foul call. They, they didn't do it. They left the whistle silent. Nick Nurse is pissed off on the sideline. Definitely looked like there was some contact. You got to be kidding me, bro. Jumps right into his freaking arm. No, nothing. Nothing. I'm not trying to sit here and complain about the refs, man, but come on now. Butler against Reed. Pump fakes, drives in. Reed got a hand on it. Beautiful play. Here come the Sixers. Five on three. We need one. Ubre, dribble, drive all the way. Got it. Two point game. Come on. Come on. Two point game. Terry Rozier going to find Kevin Love. Back to Rozier. Rozier, the step back, a three. He missed it. Here come the Sixers with a chance to tie or take the lead. Maxi to Ubre in the corner. Got it. Let's go. Let's go. Sixers take the lead. Yes, oh. sir. Kelly! Oh my gosh. You guys feel that? You feel that? It's the heart. It, it's pumping. It's pumping, baby. We got over a thousand in the chat. Drop the one K's, man. We're just getting warmed up for playoff time, man. We're just getting warmed up for playoff time. Shout out to the Miami fans in here too, rocking with us, man. What a game this is. What a game. If you guys are enjoying this stream, man. Like the show. Like the show. Holy crap. Pay Kelly Oubre yesterday. Pay him yesterday. I don't think you guys understand. Like, Kelly Oubre is on a minimum contract. This dude is a... This guy is a freaking winner. He is a winner. This dude has balls of steel, man. Joel Embiid is back, and the Sixers are back. Dude, let's freaking go. All right, man, it's a one-point lead again. The Sixers back on top, 320 to play. Can we get a stop? Butler, Rozier, Oubre hits the deck. Rozier for three, comes up short, but he tracks down his own board. Rozier going to drive mid-range now, take it back out. Joel Embiid back in the game for the final three minutes. He's trying to stay on Rozier. Rozier drives, spins, puts up a fader, missed it. Maxi with the rebound. Big time defense, baby. <sighs> Guys, no spoilers in the chats, man. Now I'll actually say it. No spoilers in the chat. Maxi going to dribble. Step back. Baseline. Maxi again. Oh, what a shot. He's got 33. Can they do it, man? Can they do it? We need this win. We need this win. Butler up to Rozier, 220 to play, defense in the chat, Butler going to drive, go in, doubled, Adebayo pulls up, missed it short, come on, Sixers, if you are for real, win this effing game, man, show us you're for real, man. Tyrese Max, you're going to one bounce to Embiid. Embiid against Adebayo, two on the shot clock. Embiid, you got to put it up. And he lays it up short over the heads of two. Here comes Miami down the other end. Martin going baseline. He drives, one bounce out to Rozier, back to Martin. 13 on the shot clock, 140 to play. 
Here's Jimmy Butler. Stone away. Kelly Oubre down the lane. All the way. Lays it in. Kelly. Come on. Absolute effing winner is Kelly Oubre. Sixers up by five. We need a stop. Butler to drive. He's wrapped. The jump ball. How long are you going to freaking wait? What the hell, bro? He wrapped him up for 10 seconds. He wrapped him up for 10 seconds. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here, man. This is cardiac. This is playoff environment. This is playoff environment. 1,200 in the chat. Ladies and gentlemen, hit that like button, man. Subscribe to the channel. We're just getting started, baby. Come on now. Sixers win the tip. 115 to play here in Miami in the biggest game of the season. Can Tyrese Maxey hit a dagger? Tyrese, if you do this, if you hit this step back three, Tyrese... Oh, you will be beloved. You'll be beloved anyway, but let's go. Tyrese going to find Lowry. Lowry hesitates. And bead for three. And he airballed it. Here come the Miami Heat. We need to stop. Rogier a step back three. Oh, he hits it. Oh, my gosh. Wow. His sixth of the game. What a shot by Terry Rogier. Unbelievable, bro. Two-point game. 30 seconds to play. Drop some heat in the chat. Maxi going to drive. Step back at two. Tough shot, man. Tough shot. 20 seconds to play. Two seconds separating game and shot clock. Rozier against Maxi. Maxi, clip him up. Clip him up. Larry clipped him up. Rozier, Butler. Butler against Dubre. Seven on the shot clock. Butler for three. Missed it. He get it back. Lost it. Maxi going to hold it. The Sixers win. Let's go. Point eight on the clock. Point eight on the clock. Inbound the ball, bro. Hurry up. Inbound the ball. Holy crap. Holy crap. What a stop by the 76ers. Here's the inbound. Maxi gets it and he's fouled. Maxi to the line for two. You got to be kidding me, bro. Maxi, don't do it to us. Just hit two free throws and end this game. Maxi, hit two free throws and end this game. Hit two free throws and end this game. I got a lot to say after this game. I got a lot to say after this game, bro. Miami fans, if you guys are in here, don't leave just yet. Sixer Nation, get hype in the chat, man. Get hype in the chat, man. First one is good. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, shout out to all our great members. Shout out to our great sponsor, BetUS. Their link's pinned in the chat. Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. What a game. Uh, do you feel it? Do you? F it, it's like playoff atmosphere, man. Maxi going to seal the game. <laughs> Let's go. The Sixers did it.
The Sixers go on the road in Miami and they take down the Heat in what felt like a must-win game. And now they have a pristine opportunity to slide into the number six seed with five games to go. This team just showed us they're for real. Let's freaking go. We hit 500 likes, so we're running that effing song twice, baby. Drop those dubs in the chat. Miami, you don't want to see us. You don't want to see us. Play the freaking song. That was good. But we need great. <clears throat> a deal's a deal. We hit 500 likes. We run the song back twice. I need, every, I need everybody dropping W's in the chat. Whether you're a member and you got the emoji or a regular W. We, I only want to see W's, man. I have a lot to say. <clears throat> I have a lot to say. Holy crap, bro. That really just happened. That really just happened. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sixers just did that. They just did that. Three words, three words only. Play the song. He's back, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, man. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Sixers win. Sixers win. Boy, I got a lot to say, man. You guys may want to cook up some popcorn and, and kick your feet back. I got a lot to say. I have a lot to say, ladies and gentlemen. First and foremost, shout out to Carlos Rosado with a $2 super chat. Says it wasn't pretty. A dub is a dub. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Carlos, I'll be honest with you, man. I don't care how the win looked. I really don't. I really don't. The fact of the matter is they got to win. They got to win. That's all I care about. Couple things off the top of my head, man. Number one, all right. You got to really appreciate Joel Embiid, man. No matter what has happened, no matter where we've gotten to at this point, like the guy is unbelievable, man. I know he struggled down the end of the game, but comes back from a, a crazy injury, plays amazing the other night, drops 29 points tonight, four rebounds, three assists, like. Great defensive plays. Like, Joel Embiid is unbelievable, man. I'm so happy he's back. I'm so happy Joel is back, man. This team is so different with Joel Embiid. Like, they're not even the same. They're not even the same category without Joel Embiid. That's take number one. All right, I got I to gotta take a, a second here. I got a lot to say, but... My guy Randy F is going absolutely nuts in the chat tonight. He just dropped another five memberships, and he just earned another 100 entries into the giveaway. Guys, drop some MVPs for Randy, man. 
really, thank you, man. Thank you for supporting. You just earned another 100 entries, man. We're giving away an Embiid All-Star jersey in a couple weeks. Randy, you are the man. You are the GOAT. Thank you, bro. Uh, $2 super chat from Manny. He says, thanks for the voice of the fans, RB. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. And Glitch, member for three months. My guy says, we're coming for the number six seed. Yes, we are. And that's my next takeaway. That's my next takeaway. Miami, Boston, Milwaukee, New York. It doesn't matter. Cleveland. The Sixers are coming, baby. They are coming. Joel Embiid is back at the perfect time. Do you see how different this team is with Joel Embiid? Like, it's a confidence factor. It's a play style. Everything. If the Sixers wanted to show as they were for real, they would have went out on the road and won this game, and that's exactly what they did. That is the biggest win of the season. That's the biggest game of the season. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sixers needed this win. Like, there was no way around it. And to do it on the road in a place that's tough to play, where the Miami Heat are making adjustments every two seconds, was this a perfect game by any means? Hell no. But they got the win. And the Sixers are now a half game behind Miami. They're now one game behind Indiana for the sixth seed. Miami plays Indiana in a couple games. And the Sixers have a pretty fairly easy schedule at the end of the season. This is the opportunity. You get the number six seed. You play the Cleveland Cavs. Then you play Doc Rivers in the second round. I mean, what, what are we looking at here, ladies and gentlemen? Am I getting too ahead of myself? Holy crap. A couple other main takeaways, and then I'll get back to the Super Chats, all right? Tyrese Maxey is absolutely effing incredible. Tyrese Maxey tonight drops 37 points. Keep in mind, this was his first game back, too. Joel Embiid's trying to get acclimated. Tyrese Maxey comes back off an injury. Let's go. He drops 37 points. 11 assists, 9 rebounds. He almost had a triple-double. Tyrese Maxey is an absolute star, man. Some people come in when he has an off game. Oh, Tyrese can't lead this and that. Tyrese is an effing star, bro. Are there times we get frustrated? 100%. 23 years old. Leading this team. He knew Joel Embiid was going to see a lot of doubles tonight. He knew Joel Embiid was going to see a lot of pressure. Tyrese Maxey came in here and played like he was the man tonight. He had no fear. No fear. What a game by Tyrese Maxey. Taking the rock late. Attacking. Tyrese Maxey was incredible, man. But it it all comes down, and I will say, and... Look, man, I don't care what anybody says, honestly. I'm going to start calling this guy the fourth quarter warrior. Kelly Oubre Jr. needs to be re-signed tonight. I'm I'm not joking. I would go into the office if I was Daryl Morey. I would say, Kelly Oubre, we need you here, bro, for the next four years. Kelly Oubre is the guy that's on a minimum salary at your job, and yet he's performing 10 times better than the freaking manager who sits there and does nothing all day but sit on his phone. That's who Kelly Oubre is. Tobias Harris did not play tonight. We saw a lineup of Tyrese Maxey, Kyle Lowry, Kelly Oubre, Nicholas Batum, and Joel Embiid. Was it perfect? No. But I said last night, I wanted to see that lineup in action. And that lineup came out smoking in this game. They went out to a 17-2 lead. Did they collapse a couple leads? 100%. But they also collapsed the lead when Tyrese Maxey went to the bench. The Sixers need, need, need to rock with this lineup for the rest of the season into the playoffs. Tobias, I'm sorry, bro. You got to take back and accept your role. You're coming off the bench, Tobias. This is the lineup, bro. This is the lineup, and Kelly Oubre is the number three option on this team, and for the fact that he's out there with a minimum contract playing his ass off like he's on fire. 
Kelly Oubre has won us over, man. Kelly Oubre is a fourth quarter warrior. The dude had 17 in the fourth quarter last game. How many did he have tonight in the fourth quarter? What do you have, like 10, 12 in the fourth quarter? This guy comes clutch every game. K- Kelly Oubre, not only does he make impact plays, but he's a freaking swagger type of player. He's flexing on people. He's throwing down tomahawks. Kelly Oubre is a winner. He's a winner. He's got the DNA. And I would resign him tonight. Tonight. Stu's on a minimum contract. Tobias, I'm sorry. You got to come off the bench, bro. You have to come off the bench. $2 Super Chat. Daniel Gaiacono says the rebounding is a concern. We need to be tough. I agree. Rebounding is an issue. You know why the rebounding is an issue, Daniel? Because the Sixers have a power forward next to Joel Embiid who's not good at rebounding. That's why. $3 $3 Super Chat from Tom Cutler. He says, I believe in Tyrese Maxey's supremacy. Tyrese Maxey's incredible, man. He is incredible. $5 Super Chat from Prince Monito. He says, Kelly Oubre. And he flexed on Jimmy. What more can we ask? That's a fact, man. We got him on a minimum contract. I, I made videos in the offseason saying we should sign Kelly Oubre. They said he was inefficient, that he played in Charlotte. Who gives a shit about Charlotte? Kelly Oubre is a winner, bro. Kelly Oubre is an absolute dog, man. This has to be the starting lineup the rest of the season. The Miami Heat are no slouch. They are no slouch. The Heat are no slouch. They are a very well-coached team. And the Sixers just went toe-to-toe and stuck it out in the mud on the road. And every time it felt like they were collapsing, they were down by eight points in the fourth quarter with like seven and a half to play. And they came back and they battled and they battled. Unreal, man. Glitches, should we have call-ins come to the Discord? Guys, we're going to, for the playoffs, we're going to start having people call in after the games. You guys think that's a good idea? I think it's a great idea. We're going to have people start calling in through the Discord after the game for the playoffs. So join the Discord, man. Sixers end the game on a 15-3 run? What a huge, what a huge way to win this game, man. Tough. Tough as nails. Tough as nails, man. Biggest game of the season. Biggest win of the season. Do the Sixers have concerns? 100%, man. 100%. Buddy Heald, I'm concerned about. 0 for 6 tonight. Campaign made a couple boneheaded plays, but still he came through late in the game. I thought K.J. Martin had a couple nice plays at the end. Sixers didn't go down, man. They kept fighting, and that's what this team looked like months ago before Joel Embiid got injured. This is what they would do. They would close games out, and now they are two for two in closing games out with Joel Embiid again. Was Joel perfect? No. The Sixers were flustered by zone defense and double teams. They found a way. They found a way, man. $2 Super Chat, Manny Fort. Thank you so much, man. It says, thanks, Embiid, for giving the team a needed boost. Man, Joel is everything. Joel is everything, man. This team is 100% a different team with Joel. By far. By far.
Guys, let me tell you something, man. The Sixers also, by winning this game, I believe that's their third time beating Miami, so they win any tiebreaker with Miami. Like, this was such a huge win. This was such a huge win, man. Great defense down the end. Couple big plays by Maxi and Bede, Oubre, Lowry. This game was won by, by Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey, and Kelly Oubre Jr. There's no other way to put it. 37, 29, and 18. What's that come out to? 66 plus 18. That's 84 points combined between the three of them. Kelly Oubre is the number three option on this team. There's no other way to put it. There's no other way to put it, man. I don't know what else to say. I mean... That's the big three on this team. You go into a playoff series with Maxi, Embiid, and Oubre, and you got to hope some of the other role players can figure it out. Because if the Sixers go in and they play a tough team and they're making some of these careless mistakes, it's going to bite them. But you have a chance. You have a chance. I'm telling you, the Sixers are going to be that one team that nobody wants to play because Joel is healthy at the right time for once. Now, if you look at the Sixers' remaining schedule, I know I'm talking a lot. I'll read some of the comments. I'm just hyped up, man. You guys were incredible tonight in this show. You guys were incredible tonight. Sixers' remaining five games are Memphis, San Antonio, Detroit, Orlando, and Brooklyn. How many games are they going to win out of the last five? Now, this weekend, again, they play a back-to-back. So, I don't think they're going to play and beat both games. So they're going to have to try to win one without Joel Embiid. So they might slip up one. So I think they're going to win three or four of the last five. But Miami plays Indiana in a couple games. And that's really going to be another big factor into who finishes where. But if the Sixers get the number six seed, and again, I've been saying this, I don't want to just pin them on a certain path, right? I don't want to say they have to get the number six seed because we did that before and we were upset. But the reason I think they need the number six seed is because Joel Embiid needs a little more time to rest. I would much rather him have four to five days of rest before going into a playoff series rather than having to fight in a play-in game, maybe lose, have to play another play-in game, and then start a playoff series right after that. I would much rather him be able to rest for like five days. I'll read a couple comments and then we will end up getting out of here. But again, we will be live every single game. Like always, we drop videos. We give you the content that you need. We're here, man. We are here. The Sixers are back. I'm not buying in saying they're going to win the championship just yet. But this was a ballsy win on the road, man. This was a ballsy win, man. Shazy says, what if they end up as the number five seed? Yeah, I mean, everything's into consideration here. The New York Knicks announced today that Randall's going to be out the rest of the season. Knicks are a couple games ahead. I mean, it would be a tough one to pull off, but you never know. You never know. Oubre was a great pickup. That dude fights no matter what. He's just an unbelievable player, man. He just gets it. He just gets it. No other way to put it. Oubre is... I mean, he has to be one of your favorite players on this team, for sure. For sure. But the Sixers are going to need a lot of their supporting crew yes, to step up. Yes, sir. For example, Buddy Heald. Like, Buddy, you got to step it up, bro. They traded for you for a reason. They need you to come through. They need you to come through, buddy. $10 Super Chat from Riaz. Thank you so much. He says, RB, how do you see a potential Magic versus Sixers series going? I could see us in a three versus six matchup with them. Is that the best matchup we could have with all the potential matchups? Thanks, RB. Riaz, you the man. 
Thank you so much for supporting the show. And of course, you earned more entries into the giveaway. Excited to give that away. You're right. I mean, the Magic are only a half game behind Cleveland. If I had to pick Riaz, I would pick either the the Cavs or the Magic in a playoff series. Those are the top two that I'm I'm choosing, and I think the Magic have a lot of young, talented players, but there's no way the Magic are stopping Joel and Tyrese in a playoff series. There's just no way. No way. And then when it comes to Cleveland, I just don't buy into what they're trying to do with Allen and Mobley. Are they going to win a couple games? Yeah. But Mitchell, I, they just they play better without Mitchell sometimes. It's it's weird. And the Sixers beat the Cavs multiple times without Joel Embiid this year. So they kind of have their number. So honestly, I would pick the Cavs or the Magic one or two to play them. But ladies and gentlemen, I want you to think about this, right? What if the Sixers beat the Magic or the Cavs? And then they play Doc Rivers and the Bucks in the second round? You want to talk about writing a story? You want to talk about writing a story? The Sixers finally get over their second round demons by taking down Doc Rivers? <laughs> Yo! Yo! I am so happy that Joel Embiid is playing basketball again that he you know he's happier he looks happy oh man Oh, man, what a show. What a show. Yeah, we do play the Magic in these final games. That could be a huge, huge determinant. Tyrese and Joel are a duo, man. And then Ubre to to, uh, take away that, that ball from Jimmy, go all the way down the floor, and then throw it down. Like, what a play by Kelly Ubre, man. He's just a winner. He's just a winner, man. Guys, I don't know what else to say other than what a freaking win. What a game. That's how you lock in and hold on to a a, a big win. Felt like the old Sixers would have just collapsed and, you know, let it play out how it did. Felt like the Sixers were just going to collapse and and turn soft and let the heat take over. But nah, man. Sixers came out and they got a big win. Big, big win. So, uh, yeah, man, at the end of the day, support us on all platforms. Join our Discord, man. We're going to start opening the phone lines. So join the Discord. Support our sponsor, man. Their link's pinned in the chat. Get a 125% bonus up to $2,500. Man. Man. Do we win this game if Tobias plays? Probably not. Probably not, in my opinion. But, like I said, you know, allowing Maxi, Ubre, and B to get these touches, it's huge. It's huge. Wow. Sixers did it. They went on the road and got a big win. Still got 600 maniacs in here. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much for being here. We will be live on Saturday evening. We'll drop a video tomorrow talking more about this game and where the Sixers are at with five games to go. But it feels like we may be back. Feels like we may be back. 42 and 35 on the old season. Five games to go. Sixers fighting for the number six seed. See how it plays out, man. Great, great win tonight. A game you had to have, and this game really built character for this team, man. I am excited. You guys are the best. Yeah, we couldn't get 700 likes. It's crazy. But, hey, we still got a ton of people in here. We still got an opportunity. You guys are the best, man. 
Lego says, I saw a stat that says Tobias has made $211 million in his career, the largest by a player to never make an All-Star game. Yes, that is true. That is true. That is true, man. Crazy. Crazy. Sixers handled the Miami Heat. I, I, maybe, maybe we need to start saying the Heat don't want to see us. Maybe we need to start saying they don't want to see us in the play-in. Sixers could be a dark horse. This could be the year of dark horse teams when you look at how the NBA is shaping up. Sixers may be getting hot at the right time. I am pumped, man. You guys enjoy the rest of your evening, man. Great stream, great show. Unreal, man. Good things to come, hopefully. Got to win these the rest of these games. Don't blow the opportunity now, man. Joel, Tyrese, Oubre, rest of the squad get a very tough-as-nails win in Miami. And they make it very interesting. As always, it's Sixer Game Day Live right here on Philly Take with RB, presented by BetUS. Catch you guys in the Discord, man. Enjoy the rest of your night. Peace.